Hey everyone, this is Manly Badass Hero, and welcome to Chipped, which is a horror game where you must control a killer robot that's stalking you with a chip in your brain. Oh, you weren't supposed to be up this early. Then was I supposed to be up? Hey there, can I help you? God, no. Where am I? You know, just because you put an anime face on doesn't mean I'm... Actually, never mind. Yeah, we can still work with this. Um... I'm assuming these are my x-rays. So what am I doing? That looks scary. Hey, Patrick. If you're reading this, it means something went wrong and you woke up early. You were put in an induced coma for 19 days to help your brain calibrate with the chip we implanted. The chances of this happening were just 2.7%, but here we are. The good news is you're okay. The bad news is it might take me a while to get back. Not that you would need to leave this floor, but the only exit is through the elevator and it's on lockdown and can only be overridden in the control room. Since you don't have clearance to the rest of the facility and we are four levels underground, it's best you just wait for me to, so we can r run more tests and finalize the calibration. I'm sure you've met Erica by now. She should keep you company while I'm gone. Sorry for the inconvenience. Erica? Hey. Can you help me out? What's going on? Talk to me. Oh my god. Hold up, I got this. About me. What would you like to know? What are you? Besides using it to talk to me, you can also use it to skip or cancel any of my current commands. Big red bun. Uh, what do you do? I can be whatever you want me to be. But in uh, your case, it's to tell you and show you what you need to know. I'd also like to do other things, like cleaning and security, but my dad won't let me. Your dad? Okay. I'm an enhanced robotic intelligent companion assistant, but you can call me Erica. Alright, Erica. Locked. Memory test, did you know? What do you want to know? Where am I? You're at a Neurogenus underground facility. You are a volunteer of the SynthPal program. Who am I? Do you remember your name? No. Well, it's perfectly fine to have some memory loss when waking up from a coma. Plus, you woke up earlier than you should have, so that makes it worse. Your name is Patrick. I don't know my name is Patrick. You just tell me that. Did you know? Did you know a group of crows is called a murder? Another. Did you know astronauts grow taller when in space? Another. Did you know the human brain can store about 2.5 petabytes of information? That's way more than me. Another. Did you know kangaroos can't walk or jump backwards? Alright, I'm done here. Okay. What's this thing? It's scary. Is this gonna be you? Well, the exit's closed. Huh. Hi, pal. I don't hi me. Ready to change the world? Synthlink. Use Synthlink when it flashes green. Yellow light means you're closer to a target. 
Congratulations, you now have a powerful life. For you to do things you can't do or don't want to do. Grab heavy objects. Explore dangerous places. Interact with your environment. Sync with Synth Pal using Synth Link. Point to Synth Pal's head when in range. Straightforward. Well done. The Synth Pal is now under your control. Remember to stay in range. Controlling Synth Pal drains a Synth Link battery. Are you implying something if I run out of battery? Left shift to sp Why would I left shift to sprint? Yeah, no, you ain't making that. Hey, where's my synth pal? This thing claims I can control it. Useless. Uh. Uh. Oh god. No, 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 no. I think it wasn't friendly. Oh, okay, I got it. You have to aim directly at the head, like it has to be dead on. You still need to be far enough away, but... Hello, human. Beep boop. I will murder you later. Flashlight. Scary. Oh god! Oh god! Maybe I should control you a little closer to the button. It looks like there's like a little delay of, um... Yeah. Before you turn like death bot again. Oh, I see why. It's just set the same over there, too. Among other things, then flicks now open doors to each make sure you have the right clearance. Okay. I think we're fine. I think we're fine. Hey, it's, uh, you. Where did you come from? It's nice to see you again. Yeah, it is. How you doing? These are all locked still. Check pause menu. Important notice, lights in the east wing are faulty again. The wing's main switch has been turned off for now. If you need to turn the lights back on, you'll have to use a flashlight to get to the switch. Well, the robot had a flashlight on. Okay, so it's a full loop. The robot was over here, lab, control room. South wing, center, lounge, east wing. Safe mode. To safely use the synth pal, remember to turn on safe mode. To activate safe mode, press the safe mode button behind the synth pal. Ah. This will prevent any lethal accidents. In case the synth pal malfunctions, while it's operating on its own. But remember, safe modes are limited. So that would that probably stops it from like flipping out on me and doing what it did earlier. Pull area over here. Great floor clearance required. Designed for you to do things you can't do or don't want to do. Grab heavy objects. Explore. That's one we saw before. Level up your reality. I like the, like the anime speed lines that happen when you start sprinting.
We could have it move this. We could find one of our uh, pals. Which is right here. Beep boop will not kill you. I will move this box for you. Where? I don't really know. I might I might move it anywhere. I you know, I just move in boxes. I'm a box mover. So you can only go so far too. Okay. Now you're in safe mode. I don't know how long that lasts. You're safe mode! You're safe mode! No, that's not safe! Oh god. It does work. How long, I don't know. But I actually need you, so you need to like... Boy, you went into like a full sprint! Power switch. Thank you. Can't go that way. Too poor connection. I mean, theoretically, couldn't I hang around near me and then, like, instantly tap into my, like, skull? You know what I mean? I'm lost. Beep. Beep. I'm gonna maybe get you a little farther away if anything. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what did that do? I'm assuming it's... You gotta use the robot. To flip the switch. Okay, okay. We're gonna game over in here. Deathbot, you need to come in this room. Ooh. Oh god, you're scary. Okay, I might get you on the other side. Maybe I should have turned on safe mode on you. That's fine. Okay, let's get you... ...a little further away from me, would you? Upgrade system. Got it. Great too. We also have a looping. We could walk around the bot, you get what I'm saying? Just depends where the bot is. Okay, death bot's up there. How good is your version? Very good. Oh no! You know I'm not gonna open that door. Oh, I do have to because the bot needs to be in here. Okay. What's in the other end of this vent? I think he's gonna come stomping over here anyways. I'm seeing the beep, beep, beep. 
Stomp, stomp, stomp. Maybe this takes us up. Um, or takes us into one of the... Actually, I'm not sure. Never one of these rooms. I'll need the bot for here. Hey. You kind of scared me. I was like... Are you deaf, Bob? Who is he? His name is Horace. He's one of the nicest men in the company. I really hope you meet him soon. That's interesting. Override. Not yet. There could be a death pot behind there. I'm assuming the override is if I get stuck behind here. Blue's never vent. There's never one of these. LA0616. Hmm. Hey, come over here for a second. I mean, I... It feels like the paper has to do something. But I don't know. Alright. I know what I have to do. I gotta use the uh, override door and go through here. Yeah, so it's like how I fought, where if you get stuck behind here too early... Oh, God, you, you were scary. Good. So we gotta get the robot down in the back area. Yeah, it'll just be some funny timing. Essentially. And we're gonna use, use the box with the robot. Yep. I'm a little far away. It's fine, I... I like how you were still holding the box. You didn't, like, completely drop it right away. Okay. I kinda need to get the box in here. So I'll need to be standing on the switch for you to put the box here. And then... Yeah. Actually, oh, that was a little too close for comfort. Okay. Now, is there anything you can work on in here? While we're here, you know? Beep boop. Um, there was the flashlight. Yeah, there is that too. So we need to get the human in here, and then the, um, and the box. There's never a box in there. If we can get that box out, we'd be, uh, like, golden. So our problem is not enough boxes. Hey. There we go. Can I? Aha! I'm not sure if I was supposed to do it that way, but it worked. Can you, um... Can you override this, or am I stuck? 
this might be an issue. Uh-oh. I'm a robot, I can't bend my lees! Well, no, I can use the vents. It's fine. The robot is back there now, which has its own advantages. There was a dark air we could use with the uh, robot. Hey, convenient. How you doing? Beep boop, I'm a robot. Do the robot. Hmm. We need to get these all over here. What is this one over now? Well, it doesn't open up that. I guess I need to open up both of these. Hey, human. Let me run for my life now. Hey. Let me upgrade that. Great. Triple. Okay, we don't need this anymore. I need you to... I need you to... Ooh, that intimidates me every time. Drop this over here, would you? Let's see what opened up. Didn't open up that. Um, I'm gonna deposit you kind of far away. To give me a little bit of a head start. Can I Goodbye, robot. Something? Oh god, there's death lasers. Robot, are you mean to death lasers? Oh, okay, this opened up. We'll need a lot of, um, things. How'd you get here so fast? You were determined to get out here, weren't you? Alright, so what do the death lasers do to you? Nothing. Apparently. I need to get a little more up north. There we go. So we need three boxes. We have one there, but if we get that box, then we can't... You know, do the thing. We need both boxes. Let me just deposit you over in there for a second. Do that, and then... I can do some stuff here. Maybe. Hmm. Well, there is the vent. Let's see where the vent takes us.
This takes us a very far away. See, there's another one of those. MK3576. Hmm. Alright, takes us over here. Which... Huh. This is so you can get around the lasers if you're stuck on the other side. But our main goal is we need to get a box out. And we I know I think we could get a box out for the southern area. Possibly. Where's this drop us? Okay. So mainly we just need to figure out how to get one box, no two boxes over there. Well, two boxes over here, but we have one right here. So we need to get one box free. Well, we could just um, stand here and then have the robot take it out. And then we can just go out the other way. Because of the override. Yeah. Simple. I just need a little robot over here. Beep boop. Hey, you need to come over here right now and get this box. From me. King of the boxes. No! I'll never get used to that. Beep. 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 Okay, it landed on. I can I heard the little clank. I'm gonna put you over here. Need you anymore? Dallas shut down. Okay. And now we'll just use the overrides to get out of here. And while you're walking back, I'm gonna go recharge the controller a little bit. And then we just need to make our way back up. Oh no, you're over there. Perfect. Wait, I also need another box for the... Yeah, no. I totally need one more box. I don't know if I can use the robot to block the lasers. That also doesn't seem smart. Well, no. I can... I have an idea. But I'll need the robot over here. Robot, come here. Please do not murder me. Okay. I'm gonna put you... First off, I'm gonna do that. Reset you. Reset you. You still have your safe mode on. Oh, I might wanna be careful. Actually, I'm gonna wait till you leave. Dear Dan, I want to give you a quick update on the SynthPal project. We're making significant strides in synchronizing the SynthPal with users via the brain implant, allowing for remote control via the SynthLink device. However, we've encountered a few challenges. My colleague Horace has raised some valid concerns regarding the SynthPal's AI, especially after a recent malfunction. His department is actively investigating the issue to ensure everything runs smoothly. We currently... I wonder if the robot could also block the laser. I, probably. We currently have a candidate that has just successfully underwent the chip implant surgery, is now in calibration stage. So while we are addressing the AI concerns, we must still continue with the planned testing of the candidate if we're to meet the deadline. I'm confident we'll resolve the issue as soon as possible, but for now we shall keep the project moving forward as planned. I'll keep you updated on the progress and any new developments. Okay. Yeah, see there's an override, you take the vent and that's how you get out. I think I did it right. So yeah, okay. Grade 4, that's the highest level width what we need. Whoa, 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 whoa! Buddy. Buddy. 
I'm leaving. Later. Open that. I'm really hear the. I think the robot can get me. Technically, right now. With the candidate went smoothly. However, my read is really fast. However, I must express my increasing concerns about the SimPal AI, which has been malfunctioning recently. Let me open this first while I'm here. I could hear the urge that the machine learning could become problematic if not properly controlled, especially since the plan is for the learn and adapt continuously according to its given tasks. The potential for unintended behavior is something I gravely fear as it could very easily turn lethal to the user if you're not careful. Regardless, I've successfully completed implementing this safe mode, as we discussed earlier, which should provide a temporary safeguard in case of further malfunctions. In my opinion, the safety and reliability of the SynthPal AI must remain our top priority moving forward. It's unfortunate that Candidate has already undergone surgery, but otherwise I would recommend we slow down on Synth human tests until this is resolved. No. We leave. Leaving so soon? I hope you missed me just as much as I missed you. Scary. What was that? Are you coming with me? Hopefully Dad comes back soon. But in the meantime, I can't wait for you to meet my friends. Your friends? See you again on the other side. We got friends on the other side. Level oh, 5 clearance. So you need something here to uh, even have the ability to use a switch. Cameras. To Wallace, Patrick Newman. Yeah, it's us. Total income, 623. Hobbies fishing. Watching paint dry. Nice. Hmm. Hey, it's a man. He's got a nice hat. So if someone's controlling the robot, and then if I'm controlling the robot... Oh god! Thank you so much for playing. Congratulations on escaping level 0. You're now on level 1, and your journey of Synth Pal is just beginning. This is just a small part of the world of Chipped. I will be more encouraged to continue working on the game if enough people like it. So if you had fun with the game, please be sure to share it with as many people as possible. I actually did like the game. Hey. So that's it for Chipped level 1 or level 0 or whatever. So the full game isn't out, but this is the first stage. So I did like this quite a bit. I did like the concept and the atmosphere and everything. I really like the gimmick and stuff like that. It worked very well. I won't add on too much more than that because that's about all I can really say. But I will say if whenever this full game releases, what you'll probably see happen is is I will start recording from the next stages on. Um, but I'll, I'll maybe just throw the first stage in there and just throw a timestamp or something to skip ahead of it. But yeah. Anyway. So thank you all for watching Play It Shipped. I'll see you guys later and take it easy.